Uh, holy shit, guys. I'm, I'm tired. I don't know. What is it about today? Like, was it Thursday, right? Or at least when I'm recording this? I'm just fucking drained, you know? Just tired. I worked a short shift, you know, at work today, so I'm working a little extra, but man, I'm just fucking exhausted. I, I did start taking some extra medication of uh, some, what it's called, trazodone. Yeah, that might... You know, that might be why I'm tired. You know, it's like a stronger melatonin. So, yeah, today was just like a lazy day. Like, I worked a little at work. Wasn't too bad. Yeah, just exhausted today. So, I'll probably, like, film some extra content tomorrow or over the weekend for sure. Yeah, yeah, I'm just tired, you know. I'm just trying to get this out. So, so let's talk about stuff, right? What, what do you want to talk about? No, I, I saw an article uh, that read... That a Russian woman tried to poison her doppelganger with, like, poison cheesecake uh, in order to steal her passport so that she can, I guess, leave the country back to Russia. And I'm like, man, that's some classic Russian woman spy shit, huh? You know, honestly, I'd probably fall for it if it was, like, New York-style vanilla cheesecake. Did you know Jack in the Box sells, like, a badass New York-style vanilla cheesecake? I don't know how much it is now, but yeah, I remember when I used to buy it. It's fucking good, man. Uh, I'm not really a fan of Jack in the Box. I might like their their croissant breakfast sandwiches when they had them, or um, their curly fries. But that uh, vanilla New York style vanilla cheesecake is a hidden gem from them for sure. Uh, <clears throat> speaking of desserts, did you see um, some commercial with Lindsay Lohan? That was, she was in for Pepsi, where like Santa is there and he has a half a glass of milk with cookies, and then he pours Pepsi into the milk, and Lindsay Lohan comes down and like drinks the drink, which is dubbed Pilk by her, and she drinks it and calls it like a dirty soda. And I'm not sure what to think of it because it sounds kind of like a Coke float of sorts, you know? So I could see it being like. Uh, acceptable, but yeah, it does sound like it should, shouldn't really belong together, you know, milk and Pepsi, and then for Lindsay Lohan to push it, and she's kind of been labeled like this drunk, dirty whore, so I could see her like just wanting to drink anything, uh, so yeah, I could feel like also most people were turned off by it, right, but yeah, I mean, maybe tomorrow after work, I'll buy, I'll go buy a Pepsi, and drink it and try and see what's up and see if it's any good, you know. Pepsi's alright. I, I I like Pepsi. So I think it wouldn't bother me too much to try it and re report back my scientific findings. Um, I know, I, we think we talked about it the other day. Have you seen Madonna's face lately? Everyone's losing their mind over that shit too. Like, I, got, I feel like she's turning into a fucking Dick Tracy villain with her face like that. And I mean, Madonna is still hot, uh, but yeah, her face is just looking pretty odd. She looks like a lizard person to me that's like molting or coming out of her skin. She looks like a villain from the old Super Mario Brothers movie or something, uh, like a dinosaur person, you know, but whatever. I shouldn't talk too much shit about her. She's still Madonna has made some badass fucking music. Gonna dress you up in my love all over your body. Gonna dress you up in my love, in my love all over your body, all over your body. Man, that's a badass song. That song goes hard, the bass line and shit. Uh, speaking of talking shit about celebrities, everybody's hating on uh, my, my buddy Leonardo DiCaprio for dating young ass girls. And I mean, they're at least legal age, you know, 19 up to 25. And Leo himself is uh, 48 years old. But I feel like, you know, he's a child at heart because Leo grew up as a child actor. So he was always with older people hanging out with them and shit. So I feel like he's used to that age gap. I don't know. I'm trying to find ways to justify it. 
Uh, but again, it's not so bad. It's not like he's Chris D'Elia and he's hitting up like 13 year olds or 16 year olds or whatever, you know? And that and like he's fucking Leonardo DiCaprio. Like he can do whatever the fuck he wants. He's a handsome devil. He can act his ass off. Do you remember the movie Catch Me If You Can? I love that fucking movie. Such a great fucking movie based on a true story. Steven Spielberg directed it. Tom Hanks was in it too. Tom Hanks is perfect. Uh, Have you all seen that clip of Tom Hanks where he's with his wife and they're walking like away from paparazzi and one of the paparazzi like accidentally trips his wife to where she almost falls and he's like hey get the fuck back or he's something like he fucking turns into ludicrous shit telling paparazzi get the fuck back man like he, he gets mad and uh i mean shit you know the fucking paparazzi are terrible people they're like a fucking plague to society you know so yeah i don't blame him for fucking turning off his Tom Hanks persona and just cussing this motherfucker out, you know? Uh, Yeah, fucking paparazzi. Speaking of plagues on society, um, I saw TikTok has a new buzzword trend called glass children, where if you were a child with a sibling that had a disability, you were looked right through because of all the attention would be on the kid with a disability. And I mean, yeah, I could see how that would make sense. But you don't have to be so fucking dramatic about it, you know, where you post your TikTok with sad music and sad captions and you crying or something. Fucking TikTok trying to make things over dramatic like that. Uh, like that's your brother or sister with a disability and you're thinking about yourself, you know. And I get it, you know, we're children, whatever, but still, like, it's hard with a family uh with a disabled person in the family you know and i don't know whatever maybe i'm just cranky from being tired from today but people are just idiots to me (laughs) you know (laughs) tell me tell me in the comments if you were ever a glass child and uh prove me wrong with you know your reasoning or your ideas about uh why I, i may be wrong with that you know so uh yeah any comments are welcomed any dialogues and conversation uh it's always good to have you know it's always good to have but yeah i guess that's that's it for today huh you know keep it short and sweet um what's your favorite flavor cheesecake that would that you would eat and let someone fucking poison you with <laughs> like cheesecake's pretty fucking good uh I like the strawberry one, too, even though I'm not really into strawberries. Like, I don't know. I feel like strawberries are more expensive than they should be for their flavor. You know, I I feel like grapes are better because they're just cheaper and taste better. And then you, you know how I am about figs, but figs are fucking expensive. So I'll just buy, like, Fig Newton cookies or something and... I don't know, deal with it, <laughs> they're they're pretty good too, Fig Newtons, you know, uh, and what do you think of Madonna's face, would you still be hung up on her, let her be hung up on you, is that how, hey little thing as you say, oh too, I'm hung up, I'm hung up on you, waiting for your call baby, night and day, yeah, time waiting on you, Time goes by so slowly for those who wait. No time to hesitate. Nah, I think um, I think she's still hot, even with that weird Squidward ass looking face. Still looks fucking good, you know. Uh, and have you tried Pepsi with milk? It doesn't sound so odd that like that someone wouldn't have already tried it before. But yeah, again, like. Tomorrow after work, I'll drive down the street uh, just to see how my anxiety is and buy a Pepsi to drink with a glass of milk. And yeah, I'll, I'll let y'all know if if I enjoy it or if I if I shame it. You know how many? We'll give it how how many areolas? One out of ten or whatever. However we judge things, you know. Uh, hopefully, when I'm Leo's age, I'm dating those young girls too. That'd be perfect. <laughs> That'd be fun. But. uh yeah guys thank thanks y'all thank y'all for coming 
listening. We made it all the way to Friday. Uh, kind of like that twi- that Twitter meme. It's Friday in California. You know? It's pretty funny. Man, I, I want to get unblocked from Twitter. I need to... I hate it. But I'm still blocked in Twitter. I'm, I'm going to try to fix that. Whatever. We'll see. But yeah, guys. Thank you all for listening. And uh, you all have a great... Friday and take care. Bye.